I'm Kitty Gumdrop, and you're watching Kitty's channel. You may be wondering why there are screwdrivers, a can, and some batteries on the table. Or you may have already read the title and we're past that, and you clicked on the video so you know why we're here. Because I live in a small town and there's absolutely nothing better to do than peruse my local Walmart. But while I was perusing, I found this one thing that I was like absolutely fascinated by and I would have been so all over it when I was a kid and believe it or not, it was $10. I haven't opened the box yet. I haven't even like done anything. The cellophane's still on completely. You like how I'm hiding under my TV tray? The only thing I did is read the back because I was gonna do this about two weeks ago and then I noticed on the back it's like screwdriver, can, and batteries not included. I understand the can's not included. I get that. Now batteries, I guess I could have thought about that, but I was kind of hoping it was more like one of those experiments where you make the potato light up a light or something, you know what I mean? Where you hook up a couple things to another couple things and then suddenly you've got science. Kids robotics, tin can robot. Look at this, isn't this cool? We've knocked the can on the ground. So moving on to this robot, and I apologize if I get into any weird positions during this entire video because I'm sitting on the floor and I got this really weird TV tray in front of me because I don't have a table because I'm a broke ass bitch. Turn a metal can into this walking, wobbling, bog-eyed robot. It could be transformed to become a robotic monster too. Cans can be cool. Can they? I'm a little bit nervous, I gotta be honest with you, because there's a lot of small parts to this and this table is not very big. Irrelevant now. So we have instructions here. Oh my god, look at all the tiny parts it tells me I need to have. What the heck's this? Can holder? If all else fails, I can use it as a paper airplane. Let me get everything organized real fast, make sure I have all the content that's supposed to be in the bag, and I will be right back. Okay, so a few small adjustments were made. First of all, I put a pillow on the floor because I was uncomfortable AF. Secondly, I was kind of a little bit upset with the way this was set up, I'm not gonna lie to you. I understand it's for kids and all, but half the pieces that were in here... Don't get me wrong, they are all in here. We have everything separated out. I have the pieces that make sense going together, going together, but I have a few small qualms about the way that this was set up. When I was separating out the screws and everything, here it just says four bolts and nuts, and that's fine. They're all here. But over here, it's just a picture of screws. It just says screws. Look at this. It's a picture of screws. It just says screws. It says no number of how many screws I'm supposed to have. Am I supposed to count the amount in the picture and then count out the screws because that's not my job? I paid you to put a kit together for me and I'm supposed to build it. I'm supposed to be a child here, correct? The bigger issue that I had is all of the pieces are here, but half of the pieces were attached to other pieces. These two pieces were attached together with the motor inside with... There was one more thing. Ah, these. These say that they're two separate things. It says that these are feet, right? Two plastic feet and that this is the axle with motor wheel. However, or gear, I'm sorry, axle with gear. However, these are attached and I'm sorry, unless I break these, they are not coming off. So I hope that these are supposed to be attached. I haven't looked at the instructions yet. All right, but now that we have all the pieces together, let's go ahead and get this started and see if we can make this can into a kid's robot. I've opened it up to the first page of the instruction booklet. Just says assembly, follow these steps to assemble your robot. Colored numbers refer to the diagrams. Well, that should be simple enough. One, look at the body plate. On two sides are two metal eyelets. Slot two body rings to this side. Is this? Body rings were those weird little things, right? Right? Body plate, two metal eyelets. Okay, okay, I see, I see. These things, here, where is that in the picture? It says that there's pegs for these, but they don't exactly. Fix each ring with a screw inserted from the other side of the body plates. Like just a regular screw, or is it the screw with the bolts? Okay, it's the screw with the bolts, but it didn't exactly say that. Okay, first of all, I don't need your attitude. Thank you. Why wouldn't these come with little washers? I don't have a wrench to tighten this, first of all. Second, why would you want to? Because you're just going to crack the plastic. I know a thing or two about tools. I've dated a few in my time. On top of that, my papa taught me from a really young age how to use tools and build things. Well, how do you expect that to go there? <laughs> lying to me. Okay, so it's telling me that these pegs down here are where I attach it, based on these? Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. 
These are so tiny. How? It's so tiny though. Okay, I can't. I can't work with this. What if I just drop it and then I kind of... That's upside down. Oh no, 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 no. Quit it. You're gonna make a mess. <laughs> I can't get this screw in here. That's upside down. That's the right direction. No, you were so close. If maybe you could just work with me a little bit, that'd be cool. <gasps> but we just got it in. Ooh. Okay, once I get it in there, it doesn't want to screw. The screw could not be more in the screw hole. Now screw. I think we're two seconds in and I've already stripped the first screw. I mean, it's attached a little bit, but like you give that a wiggle and it's coming off, period. End of story. The screw barely went in and it stripped. It's, it's, look at this. We're moving on to the next one though, because I don't have time to waste on that one single solitary thing. I don't, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. That's just gonna be all weird. The battery case fits on the flat area of the body plate furthest from you with the switch nearest the gear housing. Black wire through the right hand hole, left wire through the red hand hole. Two screws through the base. Do not put battery in case. Oh my gosh, every time it asks me to put a screw in somewhere, it's impossible. You're lucky. You're lucky that worked. So you're making threats at plastic. Hey. Okay, so it seems like a game of just like, drop it in and hope it works. So we've moved on from the battery to the motor and the axle. Gently thread the wires from the motor through the square holes in the body casing. Thread the red wire through the right hand hole and the black wire through the left hand hole. Slot the motor into the motor housing. Oh, I have it upside down. Like that? That makes sense, right? Axle into the axle housing, but that doesn't tell me where that is. The gear wheel and the axle should interlock with the blah 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 lubri lubricate the gears with grease. Cooking with it didn't tell me I needed oil. I mean, there's always the option to just spit on it. We're just gonna go lubeless. We're going in dry. Drop cover on axle. I'm mildly offended that these wheels were already on here. Like, actually super offended, because what if they're just completely off and he wobbles? We're gonna find out. Okay, no, I'm just gonna build the robot and we're gonna see how he turns out. Okay, I hate these tiny screws. I can't grab them for anything. Please, 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 please stop. Oh, just please go straight. Oh, would you please, please, please. Mm. Oh my god. Ha. Ha. Who has opposable thumbs? Not you, you sick piece of plastic. Speaking as somebody who does not have an attention span, I got diagnosed with ADHD when I was five. And I've never taken any medication for it. So I know a thing or two about attention spans not being too bueno. And I can tell you that when I was a child, I would have gotten so upset because I wouldn't have understood, like I'm not dumb, but I wouldn't have understood why I would have made it so difficult to do these tedious things that clearly need more tools. <laughs> Carefully but firmly push a cam onto one end of the axle. Push the other cam onto the other end of the axle so that the hump on its cam points in the opposite direction to the first cam. Cams? I'm assuming it means the legs. Maybe it's just a term that I don't know. But they're already on there, so I guess that's been done for me. I don't get to build that. Connect the wires. You need to connect the wires from the battery to the wires from the motory. The motory. Okay, so it's just telling me basically to get one of these caps. I stick the red wire in here and the black wire in here. You know, this is not exactly the most easy thing to do because the wires want to pop out every time I touch them. That's not what it was supposed to- oh no 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 please give it back. I'm just bending the wires all the shit. First of all buddy- ow. Okay so this doesn't want to go down now. I mean I got both the stupid wires. 
This makes sense as to why they tell you not to put the battery in yet, though. They don't want you to get electrocuted while you're busy doing all this. Nimble fingers say what? All right, I'm just gonna shove you. Beautiful. Wires connected. Moving on to the likes of the next thing. Body ring. Let's take a body ring and position it over the body ring that is attached at the motor case at the end of the plate. Align the holes in the two rings and insert two bolts into the holes. Put nuts in the bolts and tighten them. Didn't I already do that? The rings weren't even supposed to go on yet, but it told me to attach the rings. I guess what it wanted me to do was attach the rings to the thing without having the rings completed themselves because now, ugh, I have to take this thing, this top one up here apart so that I can put the things on for the arms. In case you're wondering why I'm taking apart a piece of my work that I've already completed, I have discovered as I was doing this that these hands, these little like straw pieces to hold the hands were supposed to go here. And I didn't know that. You know why? Because it didn't say. Flop your nail. Woo! I'm being attacked. That actually didn't take too long to fix. We have both the straw attachment arms on now. And this is still screwed. Wait, it even popped out of that thing. Can you at least try to stay seated for a minute? Thank you. Okay, so I found another spot, just like I did with the O-ring earlier, that does not want to screw in. Like, I'm actually having to make the screw, mm, make indentations in this plastic. Hooray. That's where it told me to put it, right? Short leg onto the peg. Okay, so I got the entire thing set up as far as the body frame goes. So now it's just having me do little stuff like make the eyes and get them attached. So I guess we're gonna do that. This is really tedious to be asking a child to do. Especially that child has an attention problem like I do. I grew up with ADHD and I mean, I, I if it wasn't immediately interesting, I couldn't hold my focus to it to save my life. So for something with so many small parts and as tedious as this, it's awful hard for a kid to want to stay interested in it if their brain already tends to wander to 50 different things at once. Restart? Can this be the new monocle? Oh wait, you don't close the eye that the monocle's not covering, do you? I say. Does this look quite fancier than the other people who try to wear the monocle? It's got a very satisfying jingle to it. Attach more things with screws. Attach this with screws. Attach said thing with screws. Have you screwed yourself yet? Well, buddy, I'm certainly trying. I don't need your sass. Oh, you sass hole. I don't need this from you. Mmm. Ooh. And e and twist and I hate this. I hate this. I want to move to Mars. I'm tired of this. Mars doesn't ask me to build robots out of tin cans. And it's it's as far as it'll go. And this eye is just gonna hang. <laughs> oh, that's irritating. Well, you know what? Since I get to be creative, final assembly. Slide an empty, clean tin can into the body rings. You may need to loosen the nuts on the rings to get the can in. Don't make me do that again. I've spent so much time doing it. I hate it here. I want to go home. Oh, God. Had real trouble doing that. At least I didn't have to loosen them again. Insert battery, negative, blah, blah, blah. Insert battery correctly, in other words. I didn't put his arms on. I put his arms on the bottom, so he's gonna have arm legs. Oh, that was satisfying. Perfect. So I've got the battery in it, and it's asking me to check to make sure if it runs, but I don't think it's gonna be the real spirit of the video if I don't wait until the end, so I'm just gonna pop the battery cover on, and then we're gonna reveal the robot. Okay, so I've officially got this kid's robotic piece put together. My tin can robot. 
I have two screws left over, which mildly concerns me, because I don't know what they're for. I wasn't given a number of screws that I was supposed to have. I wasn't given a number of screws that I was supposed to use. It just told me, screw you, here you go, and fend for yourself. I mean, he's cute, right? I got his arms kind of holding his eyes because I screwed up both his arms and his eyes. So he looks ridiculous and he's staying that way. Now here's the real question of the thing. Does he work? Does he walk? Does he work? What does he do? Ah, he won't die. Okay, so he does walk, he works. Do you wanna see what it does? Do you wanna see what it does? Okay. It doesn't do so much on carpet. It's not really built for off-road terrain. We've moved the carpet out of the way because I want to see it actually walk on the floor. I don't want to see it try to, you know, struggle on the carpet. What's that? Where's it going? Thank you guys so much for joining me this week to build Frederick. That's what I've named him. I've decided to name him Frederick. So I guess that was my review of the kids robotics kit that I got from Walmart. Overall, I guess if you're a small child and you have a good attention span, this isn't that bad. For somebody like me who grew up with ADHD and doesn't pay attention to things that are really tedious and really boring very well. And yeah, that was really boring up until you got it to walk. It was amazing to see the thing that you created, or at least I imagine it would be for a small child. But I mean, overall, not a bad thing for a kid to play with. For an adult, maybe I don't recommend buying it. If you enjoyed watching me create Frederick this week, go ahead and subscribe down below. Leave a like on this video if you had a good time in this particular one. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My handle will be right down below here. I make new videos every single Monday, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!